the total sale in the crypto market goes on. The whales have unfrozen BTC, amounting to billions of dollars, and none of the mortals know where the market will go. But the latest technologies, neural networks, allows us to catch the trend. But even they won't say when BTC ETFs will appear. Ho, 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 guys. Did you see how BTC went below $3,300 on Friday? By now, you've probably recovered a little bit and you're ready for the news, right? Great, let's go. Guys, 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 how many times have I said the word crash recently? I'm already tired of it, but unfortunately, I have to say it again. Last Friday, the sell in the market reached its apogee. According to CoinGecko, Bitcoin has dropped to $3,261. But over the weekend, there was a slight recovery and the market managed to win back some losses. We'll see what happens this week. But in general, do you believe in coincidence? There is one crypto enthusiast who found out that in five days last week, 608,000 BTC were transferred from one wallet. How much is all this? About $2 billion? Or is it more? I don't know. Write in your estimate in the comments. Well, in general, all this money was distributed among 76 wallets. For each wallet, 8,000 BTC. Before that, this money had not been transferred since 2013. What will happen to the market next? Well, I don't know. I think that no one can tell you. That's why it is time to resort to a higher power. Well, perhaps not so high. <laughs> Here I found one prediction service from X-Rates. It certainly doesn't indicate how much BTC will cost, but gives hints about pump and dump using neural networks. Every month, at least $7 million worth of trading volumes pass through these trading strategies, according to MIT Technology. And the cool thing is that the service holds BTC giveaways. And after each unfulfilled prediction, the price pool grows. Guys, I will leave you the links in the description, so check it out. What exactly no one can predict is when ETFs will appear in the crypto market. Once again, the SEC has delayed the decision about Bitcoin ETF from Vanek and SolidX. Now the deadline is set for February 27th, 2019. Circle that in my calendar. And what does the calendar tell us? The holidays are approaching and it's time to go shopping. You already know how much I like to search for interesting projects, right? So here I got acquainted with one more on Black Friday. Blockchain project Alibaba Coin is developing a platform that will unite all the largest e-commerce websites in the world. Yeah, pretty cool, huh? Amazon, Alibaba, eBay, Taobao, all in one place. In addition, on Alibaba Coin, one can pay for everything with cryptocurrency. All in all, guys, I will leave the link in the description, so explore it. Crypto sales are everywhere, even in long-suffering Venezuela. El Presidente Maduro offered to sell oil for the national cryptocurrency El Petro. And supposedly, they will start doing this in 2019. If we are to believe Maduro, this will help to overcome the hegemony of the dollar, as well as the international sanctions. But Maduro better think about the welfare of his country. Inflation in Venezuela, guys, this year will be 1.3 million percent. Wow. <laughs> and people don't even have money for basic necessities. Well, in comparison with Venezuela, I guess everything is not so bad, right? I'm serious. Stop whining. But the night is darkest just before the dawn. Soon, everything will be fine, guys. In the meantime, I'll go get some more insights and you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because Luis loves you.